Be advised, before you start, this video is not a replacement for the written instructions. Read the instructions carefully and be sure you fully understand the process before making your molds. The supplies needed for this process are saran wrap or aluminum foil, rolling pin or 12 inch piece of PVC pipe, portable flat smooth surface such as a square board, vet wrap, a heat gun or hair dryer if you will be completing this in cool weather. The first step is to clean the frog to prevent the rubber from becoming trapped in the sulci under overlapping frog tissue, but leave all excess horn, Dr. Redden may need it, for the therapeutic trim. After cleaning the frog, this is how the foot should look. The next step is to mix half of the white putty and half of the gray by quickly twisting and folding until all white streaks are gone. Now that we have properly mixed the ACS, place the material between two pieces of saran wrap or aluminum foil and roll it out to approximately one half inch thick. Now remove the ACS and lay the material on the foot, firmly pushing the material into all crevices, making sure there is contact with the entire surface of the foot. Fold excess material over the edge, being careful not to let it get too thin on the edge of the hoof. Using your thumb, press the border of the material, blending it into the wall. Once you're satisfied that the rubber has made contact with the entire hoof surface, cover it with vet wrap, pulling it snug to push out any air pockets. But avoid pulling too tight at the edge of the foot to prevent the sharp edges of the hoof from cutting through the mold. Use a flat surface to flatten the bottom of the mold while it's still soft. This prevents mold sag when the positive is poured. You can use a heat gun to speed up set time, especially in cold weather, but it's important to keep your hand by the foot to ensure you're not overheating the mold. Now that we have completed the lower half of the mold, we will mix the ACS in the same manner as we did the lower half, leaving enough unmixed material to patch any holes in the finished product. This time, we will roll it out in a banana shape. While the first layer is curing, or after it is cured, place the second banana shaped layer on the face of the foot, slightly overlapping the first layer. Wrap it around so it overlaps the heel. Use your finger and thumb to make good contact along the top of the first layer. You want a smooth transition. Any airspace will show up in the positive mold. Once again, wrap the foot in vet wrap just as we did previously, again using the heat gun to speed up curing. Once the rubber is firm, you're ready to remove the vet wrap and pull the flexible mold off. On occasion, you will be able to remove Remove the mold without cutting it as seen here and this is what the finished product will look like but if the mold will not remove without tearing the material it may be necessary to cut the front of the mold using a butter knife as Dr. Redden did here. Now that we have the mold off we can repair the cut. Simply stitch the cut using toothpicks and use some of the remainder ACS to patch the cut. Using your index finger to smooth out the edges and blend the patch into the mold. If you find a hole in the mold, as seen here, you can patch it by using the remainder of the ACS, again smoothing out the edges into the mold. Once your mold is completely cured, your finished product should look like this and will sit upright, ready to have the smooth cast poured into it for the positive. Now write the horse's name, date, and foot identity on the negative mold with a sharpie and it's ready to be shipped.